What Do You Want To Do, the show that will hopefully help you figure out what you want to do in life or reconnect you to what you love doing. Each show has a guest who is doing what they want to do, whether it's in their career or in addition to their regular job. Most importantly, we want to help you realize that no matter your age, you too can do what you want to do if you have the will to do it. Now here's your host, Leonard Kaplan. You're a very serious person, and, and, that's, and that's a compliment because a lot of people your age don't have serious thoughts. We need people like you around to uh, keep these ideas alive and to do something about them. Do you have a clear plan uh, besides self-educating and, uh, you know, in the documentary style and in, in the issues themselves? Like when you're, say, 21, where do you want to see yourself? That's what they 21? ask a job interview. Yeah, yeah. I'm 21. You are 21. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's say 25 or 30. Where do you okay. want to be? Uh, 25 is good. Yeah. yeah. I've been looking myself at the age of 25 mostly because I don't know if this is something bad, but I have the strong feeling that I won't make it to 30. I feel some all my life is short and this oh. is why I'm trying to get all my education to at least start right now. It's a hard stick. Why but, do you think that? Why? Why? Uh, it takes a long story which I don't feel good talking and uh, okay. life. So, but yeah. Do you, I, feel, do you feel that the issues that you're taking on are dangerous and they can put you in, in danger? Uh, I've not, well, I know whenever you advocate for good cases, it is. It's going to have some repercussion, but though that has nothing to see with any of them. Okay. I think that's mostly my personal, mostly has to see with my background and my story. That's I what see. I... I see. Yeah. I see. But I yeah. I hope you're wrong. I want to see you around here for the next 30 years here or more. Yes, you're supposed to go before me. I'm older than you. <laughs> anyway, what would you say to people who want to pursue the life of an activist, the like life of an advocate, the life of a documentarian? What would you say to young people out there who are watching this right now or listening to this, what should they do? Uh, first of all, there's a question I've not answered yet. Like, how do I see myself as a 25 year old? I'm gonna answer it first. Oh, okay, I that's right. You didn't answer it yet. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, so I have, I, I, think I, I have been thinking about that like for the past week still because I realize I'm taking so much time on my college education. So at the age of 25, what I want to see myself doing, I'm looking for a jury doctor. So I need, I know it's going to take some time. So, so I don't expect to get it now. And sometimes I doubt that I will get it. But what I see myself doing at the age of 25 is being a normal activist because I've not studied yet. I'm not an activist yet. I'm writing my book, but it's mostly an indoor work because nobody knows my work. I'm doing my work in closed door. Like the only way people can know my work and understand, okay, I'm fighting for some causes is when my books get published, that's an hop. But until then, that's my project known only to me. So at the age of 25, if I succeed well, I get enough support and I get some of my pieces published and I get to volunteer and really I organization like I wish to do. And I start filmmaking like this is my heart with this certificate because I want to get out there like people don't understand that I really want to be an activist like when I wanted to volunteer at the state house there like really they don't get it so I do want to start doing something my own way so people can understand yes this is I'm serious I want to do it so at the age of 25 I hope I will be able to fulfill all of that i'm 
I'm, I'm like really a will activist. I'm an activist with a stable situation, um, financial plan, and then studying in college, like an active activist, pursuing, still pursuing her education for more, like, because I'm looking for a jury doctor for the same purpose too, because I think if I get to be like in a place of power, people will listen to me more and listen to my voice more because this is all about people listening to my idea and discussing things that I believe matter. So this is what I see myself as a 25 year old, really. That's great. It matters That's... to me to stop. Not many, like I say, uh, will plan their life that way. And uh, you you have it all up, up here. So now I'll, I'll go back to the other question that you weren't ready for. Young people are watching this or listening to this. How would you advise them to pursue their dreams and goals and education? So this is basically, people will think I'm biased and maybe I am, but just me, just because it has helped me, but it may be that I am biased. But what I would say is, I mean, me, for someone like me, because I've struggled a lot in school, I didn't, I didn't, like, the thought of college really traumatized me because I realized if I struggled in high school, I I won't make it at all in college. It will be greater struggle. And it is, trust me, I'm in college, I'm taking classes right now, I'm taking on like classes, it is. But the only reason I'm having the courage to be in college right now is because of my goal for a greater activist, to be a greater activist. And I need this, like a to study political sciences and these things. So what I would say is that look for something that if you want, for young people like me, like if you want to pursue whether study for a career or pursue your dream, make sure that it has some significant wishes, like make sure that with it, you can be able to, because I do believe that we shouldn't be living our life, like just making a living. We should also try to make a difference. Mm -hmm. If you pursue a degree in education and hope not only to follow your dream, but to make an impact, to make a difference, it's going to help you in the world it's gonna help you end the path because it's like so hard. It's really hard. I see. And what's in me there, it's this motivation I have, this motivation to be an activist. That's uh, the thing I would say. Well, you know? I wish you all the luck in the world in doing what you're doing. I know you're gonna keep it up and we always keep in touch. So that's, you know, I'll I'll know it when it happens. So any any parting words for the audience? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you for joining me on what do you want to do? On our next show, we don't know who it's gonna be yet, but there will be another guest. We have we do the show every week, and uh each guest is unique some are artists some are activists some are musicians some are we don't even know that there's so many professions and what they all have in common is a goal and a dream and that's what the show is all about doing what you want to do not what somebody else tells you to do or thinks that you should do and you are doing that so until next time, all of you out there, have a good week and think about it. What do you want to do?